Hey guys, today we're taking a look at something really nifty. We are taking a look at a Chinese water brush. Keep watching. Hey, so a long time ago, I ordered this Chinese piston filled water brush off of probably Amazon and I never got around to taking a look at it. And since recently I've done some content regarding water brushes and since I know a lot of people are interested in water brushes, I thought now would be a great time to do it. So as you can see, it is piston filled. This is, I've actually used these before and I didn't like them. So I didn't review, like I really didn't like them. So I opted not to review them. Um, this one seems to be a little bit better put together than the ones I've used in the past. Now you probably could fill this with ink. We want to stay away from doing that though because um, there is a lot of surface area for evaporation and that means the ink can harden inside the body. Now, unfortunately, I can't read any of the packaging at all. Um, even the barcode doesn't give me too many clues. So I don't know what fiber this is made out of. It is probably, looks like there's some synthetic in there as well, but it is probably horse and goat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead, um, clean all of the glue out of the bristles, fill this thing with water and grab some watercolors and we'll take a look at it. I grabbed some Yarka student grade watercolors because I have no alibi. I am L-A-Z-Y and I have never used a piston type water brush, but I have used piston filled fountain pens. And with piston filled fountain pens, you don't have to turn the piston unless you really need to push out more ink because the ink will flow naturally. And I'm hoping that the same is true for this, that the capillary action of these bristles will help draw water to the tip. Now, I just filled this under water running water. I didn't do it in a cup. If you do it in a cup, you can probably get a nice full fill instead of this half fill. And none of these pigments have been activated prior. So we're just going to go straight in. And like with most water brushes, it does seem to fade out over time. That is the water pushing the paint out. Now I'll clean this out fully when I'm done but I'm just going to play around with it here. Actually, it handles really nicely and there's no leaking. Um, not getting super duper vibrant colors, but the Yarka set doesn't necessarily have colors that vibrant anyway. I just like it because it's got nice big cakes of color, pans of colors that I can easily dip my water brush in. Now, one of my complaints about water brushes is that even the largest ones are too small. This thing is huge compared to even the largest water brush tip. I mean, just massive in comparison. It's like a full size Sumi brush. So um, if you enjoy painting on the go and you're pro you have a problem covering large areas of, pa of paper, this might be a really good solution for you. And I am going to drop a link in the description below so you guys can find this brush, but it actually handles really nicely. It's kind of a fun water brush to use. Um, the, the bristles, they're shedding, but it's a brand new brush and that tends to be really common with Sumi brushes. So I'm not gonna see that as a flaw so much as just, you know, nature of the product that I'm using. And hmm, it does use water fairly fast. So you are gonna wanna bring an alternate water source, like, um, I don't know, like a water bottle that you can just dip this in and pull it up through. But you don't have to remove the brush to do that. Um, so that makes it handy. And uh, the cap is not like the nicest cap in the world. It's a pretty cheap cap, but you can put it on top of the back of this very easily. And so long as you're as your uh, brush is rolled up nice and tight, you can put it back in. So really this isn't a bad little water brush and I'm I think I may end up uh, playing around with it some more, painting with it some more. Um, 
I might do a field test for you guys. I might not. I don't really know if it needs a field test. I'm gonna clean it off really quick on a piece of paper towel. Now, usually with water brushes, I will squeeze and um, scrub. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm just going to expel some water and scrub. And the water goes really quick in this thing. So you're gonna wanna bring a backup source of water. However, that does a pretty decent job of getting most of the paint out. And I have a feeling this is just staining, which is gonna happen when you're using a white colored brush, regardless of whether it's a travel brush or not. So check the description below for the name of this pin and uh, this brush pin, this water brush, and where you can get your own if you enjoy it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you guys. And I hope you'll give this water brush a try. Bye guys.